This is the Eantra uh, Labino Boxes homepage. We have uh, installation and getting started to get familiar with the board. And then we have interface, uh, different kinds of input outputs, then uh, sensors to give you different kinds of, uh, to help you get uh, different values of your surroundings. Then we have access motors for accessing bots. Then uh, we have interrupts uh, for uh, figuring out the movement of bots. And we have also interfaced different types of communications for working of all of this. Here we have made an oscilloscope using a uh, smart ELEX development board, which, uh, which reproduces the sine wave on a GLCD screen. It has an inbuilt uh, DAC, which is a digital to analog converter, which converts the analog signal produced by a controller uh, to different levels of the voltages. You can see a sine wave produced by a controller on GLCD screen. In one of our projects, we are making a smart switch using ESP board. We have made a hopping network which can hop the signals that we want to using these ESPs uh, to the its destination address. Now we have got one broadcaster which is connected to servers and it takes your input and turns on your switch bulb. This is node 1, uh, which is switchboard, uh, switch 1 and 2 are connected to that. Currently, all the switch bulbs are off. Now, I'll send an on signal to that and it'll get updated and switch bulb will turn on. To showcase the range, we have kept one of the switchboard up and both of the bulbs are on. We'll try turning them off. Now, you can see both of them will turn off. When I see any electronic item, I'll be like, okay, this is like when you put uh, switch it on, like it will be working. When you switch it off, it will be like off. But now I'm wondering how this works. Now it's getting more uh, eager and like it's pushing towards me what uh, microcontroller, what what is the brain of that robot or something like that. Usually what students uh, do is they use Arduino IDs and all to program and to start their programming journey in embedded systems. But uh, what this internship taught and what this experience taught me was to start it with basic concepts from embedded itself. There are so many projects going on here that even if you understand a little bit of each while you're doing your own project, there is a lot of knowledge you can receive. When you see the mentors outside Eantra, you see them more on a teaching basis, like they teach you and they tell you what to do directly. But here it's more of a hint process where the mentors give you hints and help you learn on your own which is very good because later going through going through you can start learning things on your own and the learning atmosphere is here basically is that everybody supports each other somebody else knows something they're happy enough to teach you about it they're, they're happy enough to help you so our mentors emphasize more on uh, doing things like we had this idea that we can speak with Israel, we can tie up with Israel, but they told us no you have to speak with Israel. ask them that can you really uh, work with us can you really help us so yeah we just don't uh, sit and talk and you do things now even if we had the timing still six for the work uh, working hours till six we worked after that like we enjoyed working here like it was like not just internship but uh, it was like our project only one of my friend was working on uh, air ground collaboration so he had some issues with the uh, training models so we like I got interested in that he was not able to solve that problem so I used to work with him we used to work till 3 to 4 a.m. Here it is like an overall grooming process where they teach you everything that is required for an internship to be done. In my previous internship uh, basically we were not do things which are on the higher grade because they were expensive or something else but here it is like you can access any material that you want to, to complete your project. They are going to support you in terms of learning it and moving forward with it in a better way. I was blown away by one particular thing. Like we are facing a lot of issues and uh, interfacing stuff while making a small robot. But this one is like completely huge, where they are like debugging very easily and stuff. And that was one thing. Like uh, everything's possible. They had three mechanisms for uh, driving the ship alone. First one is like uh, manual. That is not working. They had some uh, differential powers, and that is also not working. They have some other components. So what they had was like. They had every backups for every problem, so that one is a great thing. So that one must be implemented in our uh, small robots also. I was uh, blown away by all those uh, mechanical components. There were a lot of LEDs, like uh, for a group of components, they connected a single LED. So if that particular area is not working, that LED will uh, show whether the component is not working. Most of the people don't know what actually research or masters holds. Uh, whereas Eantra helped me find a blueprint for what it will be actually. 
like what you will be working on or how you will be working on it or how to move through and what you want to decide upon here when i experience the uh, professors what they taught us like what more research can be done what more you can achieve by doing things by exploring your own uh, ideas people always think like when you start a new thing how do we start is it possible they go into a dilemma thinking if it is really possible first of all but then instead what yantra or this internship taught us is instead of thinking about what you want to do just start doing the work it will take its own direction and give you a path to move forward